Should there be a Royal Commission into News Corp, as Kevin Rudd, the former Prime Minister of Australia, has argued? I'm going to analyse the underlying premise behind the call for a Royal Commission and discuss whether it is in any way justified. Now, I have a legal background, which makes me well-placed to discuss whether or not there should be a Royal Commission. However, if you have any thoughts on the matter, drop those in the comments below, and otherwise, it would be wonderful if you like this video, share the video, and subscribe to this channel. Alright, so firstly, what exactly is a Royal Commission? This, of course, is important for people who are based outside of Australia, but also for people who haven't really followed Royal Commissions in the past. A Royal Commission is basically designed to investigate systemic wrongdoing within an organisation. It is a government-originated investigation. Normally, the Royal Commission is conducted by someone who is independent of the government. Often, it will be someone like an eminent jurist. So, for example, a former High Court judge will often conduct a Royal Commission. An example would be the Royal Commission into banking misconduct. Another example would be the myriad Royal Commissions into various police departments. Another example would be the Lawyer X Royal Commission, which investigated the police department's use of human sources. In any case, the underlying theme here is typically it's investigating systemic wrongdoing, usually across multiple organisations or multiple individuals. Generally, there's an allegation of something along the lines of corruption or illegal behaviour. That generally is what is necessary for a Royal Commission to get off the ground. It isn't enough that you simply dislike what someone does. It isn't enough that you disapprove of their conduct. Rather, there needs to be a degree of illegality, typically corruption, involved in what is being investigated. Hence why we have the Banking Royal Commission, or the Lawyer X Royal Commission, or the myriad Royal Commissions into various police departments and the like. It typically, like I said, is not enough that you just have a political disagreement with someone. And that's for good reason, because otherwise the Royal Commissions could be used to effectively settle political scores. Alright, so why is Kevin Rudd calling for a Royal Commission into News Corp? Well, the cynic inside me would basically suggest that it's because Kevin Rudd doesn't like News Corp, and in particular doesn't like The Australian. However, his stated reason is effectively there's this argument that News Corp has a monopoly over print media in regional areas. Effectively, he's pointing at something ultra-specific and saying there is a monopoly over this specific area of news, i.e. he's arguing a monopoly in regional areas in print news. Now, obviously, he's arguing there's that monopoly, and then this is coupled with the allegation of bias in all News Corp publications, i.e. you have the two strands to it, the monopoly strand and then the bias strand, and is effectively arguing that you have this monopoly with a bias, and therefore there should be a royal commission into this. Now this really begs the question of whether there should be a royal commission. And I would argue that there are several strong reasons why you would not have a royal commission. The first one is the argument about a monopoly is simply not made out. I.e. there is not a monopoly of the news area. This is because A. Most people get their news from online sources i.e. people aren't relying on print media for their news. So the whole monopoly argument isn't made out anyway. That notwithstanding, there are myriad other news sources, particularly focusing online. So counterbalancing the Australian, you have, for example, The Guardian, you have SBS, you have ABC, you have the various Fairfax publications, and there are myriad publications under Fairfax. Now, Fairfax has had management issues, but nevertheless, they have a lot of publications. Effectively, there are a huge number of other news outlets, not to mention YouTube, not to mention podcasts, that are offsetting the influence of News Corp. There is not a monopoly, so that hasn't even been made out. The second major reason why you wouldn't have a Royal Commission here is a monopoly is something that you would not have a Royal Commission over. That's something for the regulator to investigate, i.e. ACCC has to investigate and analyse each individual takeover and determine whether each individual takeover of a newspaper is reducing competition. The government doesn't go and do a royal commission into whether there's competition. The ACCC does that every time there's a takeover. So the fact that as a regulator has cleared News Corp being able to take over and run various newspapers and news outlets indicates that an independent regulator has already cleared News Corp's operation i.e. there simply isn't a, a monopoly or b any issue that would give rise to a royal commission. Effectively, there's no illegality. 
there's no corruption. There is nothing to investigate. Therefore, there's not really any grounds for a royal commission. Thirdly, the mere fact that Kevin Rudd or people don't like the slant of a news organisation is not enough for a royal commission. You can't go out and say, I want the government to send their jackbooted troops in to investigate someone I don't like. That obviously is profoundly problematic. I.e. you can't have the government just sending a royal commission to track down people they disagree with. The former Prime Minister of Australia suggesting that the government go and investigate someone that he has a political disagreement is profoundly troubling. It is extremely problematic that he would even think it's appropriate to have a royal commission into someone that he has a political disagreement with when there's no allegation of wrongdoing, no allegation of corruption, simply a political disagreement. The next reason why you wouldn't have this is that in particular, this isn't just a political disagreement. This is an investigation of a news organization. The idea of the government investigating a news organization absent any clear smoking gun of wrongdoing is extremely problematic. I.e. the government should not be running a royal commission investigating a credible news organization. So News Corp, i.e. the Australian, Sky News, etc. The government should not be investigating a news organization without clear allegations of wrongdoing. In which case it would usually be investigated by the police to the extent that there are any allegations. It is extremely problematic and extremely uh, suppressing to the press for the government to go out and do a royal commission of a press organization. Basically, this is going to undermine freedom of the press to have a royal commission of this nature. This is arguably unconstitutional. The constitution in Australia has an implied freedom of expression, at least as it amounts to political discussions. If you're going to send out the royal commission to investigate someone merely on grounds that you disagree with them, in particular where it's a news organization, that's borderline unconstitutional, I would argue. Not just unethical, but unconstitutional. So for all of these reasons, the idea of a royal commission into News Corp is extremely troubling from an ethical standpoint, but also from a legal standpoint. This would be an unprecedented royal commission because there's no allegation of any form of wrongdoing. There's no allegation of corruption. Rather, it is an attempt to effectively silence a particular news outlet through the use of government power, which I think we should all be troubled about because it is extremely problematic to have that government shutting down press freedom. Now, if there is a genuine concern about monopoly power, that's something that the antitrust regulators investigate. In this case, the ACCC investigates that. The ACCC has, where relevant, looked into any monopolistic issues associated with any news takeovers, and the ACCC has cleared anything that News Corp has done. Furthermore, if News Corp simply sets up an additional newspaper, that is actually helping convey additional information, not hindering information. As such, there appears to be no monopoly issue and no genuine reason for a Royal Commission in this case, making Kevin Rudd's call for a Royal Commission disingenuous at best, and to my mind profoundly unethical when you really think through the implications of such a Royal Commission. In any case, those are my views about whether or not there should be a Royal Commission into News Corp, and my views about the background and underlying reasons why that call has been made and why it should definitely not go ahead. Nevertheless, if you have any views about the call for a Royal Commission to News Corp, drop those in the comments below. Otherwise, it would be brilliant if you clicked the like and subscribe buttons. In any case, I very much hope to see you for future videos. Bye.